hello everyone, welcome back to the D-Pad. I'm John. I'm Rick. And this is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, a game about a boy and a mouse who controls his life. John, I must say your voice sounds very clear and concise. Compared it's to usual it's I finally recovered fully from the COVID incident. Oh, uh, okay. So I've, this is just how this is just what you like what your new voice is? That's correct. Okay, cool. That's that's gonna be really good. I'd like to think of it as my my new and improved voice, really. I mean, this is kind of how I've always sounded in my own head. Oh, well, that's perfect. It's best to present yourself as you are on the on the channel. Mr. So. or Mrs. Lure Son Max. Maximilian Lure. Uh, this God, is... Pokemon fucking everywhere in here. Yeah. Not really like a clear way to... Oh, and not really like a clear way to go. There you, you go. Know? He it's slipped like, into his COVID well, voice. Sorry, yeah. It's still, still a little finicky. I prefer it when it's... A, Settled in. Have you, by chance, watching any uh, any uh, movies with? Uh, um, oh, I forgot his name now. Oh well. Well, oh, the, there's Magmar. Oh yeah, I've seen a few already. Uh, I've seen a few. Oh already. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Two back to back. Yeah. There. What the hell is the guy's name? Uh, oh fuck! I can't like. He did. Uh, he did like a. Uh, he was the original Nutty Professor before before Eddie Murphy's remake. I've only seen the Eddie Murphy version. <laughs> Uh, did I fuck myself by hitting the switch before doing stuff? I don't think so. All right. Boom, boom. I'm still convinced that like this song and one of the other like lab or underground area songs are the same song, but in the original version, like there was just some bit of code that told it which notes to which notes to drop, because it's the same just like walking melody. You would have to sit down and uh, maybe do an analysis there. I would. I do not know. I would have to do that if I were to do that. Well, this is fun. Yeah, Pokemon Mansion, like, by this point in the game, you've already had uh, so many little mazy sort of things. This is the first, the, like, uh, so the department store. Yep. Or not the department store, sorry. The uh, the rocket hideout was already a maze. Then you got Sylph Co. that was even more of a maze. Then you got Seafoam Islands that was a maze but also had wild Pokemon. Yeah. And immediately after that, you have another maze with wild Pokemon. And dungeon-wise, they're all fairly shitty. They're not too interesting. They're not too <sighs> yeah. challenging. They're not too intricate, but they're very repetitive, and some of them yeah. are just sort of, I don't want to say luck-based, but like you, you kind of like kind of have to know what to look for or else you're just going to wander around for a while yeah and, like, later and stuff later uh later generations did did uh caves and mazes a, lo a lot better i think and like this one's one where like just checking victory road is fine victory road is is fine as like maze caves it's go, all, honestly that might do. probably have been the best dungeon in the game yeah because it like there's stuff to do I, I honestly mount moon isn't all that bad it gets a bad rap because of just a million zubats and geodudes but otherwise like that one's fine yeah. It's open enough that it's not like the end of the world and there's not, you know, not like there's any sprawling paths here. Like Seafoam Islands has a lot of like long paths where you kind of just realize far too late that you're going down the wrong way. And you're like, fuck, I could spend like 10 minutes going the other way now. I don't know. I like I, I, the victory roads of the various games, I think, have generally been pretty solid. Yeah. So I'm glad that I, that's been pretty consistent throughout. Honestly, I can only really remember the one. Um,. I want to say the one in XY involved, like, going in and out of, like, a mountain cave. And, like, the outside portions were usually where they where they um, had, like, pit stops or people with potions and things like that where you could kind of, like, breathe. And then you go back in and there's wild Physical encounters all over the place. attack is better. Okay. All right. So, yeah, John got a muck. And it doesn't suck. Well... <laughs> we'll find out. I guess we will. Uh, let's see. Dig is an option for physical. Mega Drain is interesting. Yeah, but it, it's special. Mm -hmm. Special sucks. True. Fire is Punch this, is yeah, an I guess option. It makes uh, sense of special. Toxic, we know. Ooh, Taunt. Flash Cannon. <laughs> Self Destruct. There oh, it is. Oh, God. That, that's an option. <laughs> get Eevee in front of me and just blue. I was gonna say it'd be an option for the uh, for the face-offs, but boy, that is just an accident waiting to happen. Otherwise, yeah. Well, you know, it would be better if he was normal type. Then you get stab. Yeah, in there stab too. on top. That would be nice. It would only be worth it if it was pretty much a guaranteed yeah. KO. Mm, hmm. Thunder punch. All right. I don't know. I don't know, man. This game's hard. <laughs> this game's not hard. Trying to beat you is hard with a crappy team 
This also has infinite TMs, too. Right. Which is fine. That just means I have to spend more time thinking about shit on mic and annoying <laughs> the uh, <laughs> listeners. Seismic toss, a move that... How does this work? Isn't that your da- your level in damage? Yeah. Oh, that's not they, yeah. good. Oh. No, that's only good like early mid game. After that, it's pretty useless. Well, I game. mean, there's the benefit of always knowing how much it's going to do, and it doesn't really. I don't think it's affected by uh, by stat uh, by type at all. Other than it won't work on ghosts. So, like, if you're up against a, a dude who's got resistance to fighting, you can still guaranteed do fifty whatever damage. Yeah, I s- Ugh, man, I still kind of think that Doug Trio is my better bet. Only if only because he's many levels above, and he's about level forty-eight. Uh, how do I? You gotta go box? to your box. Yeah. I think. Sorry, I'm moving a little bit slow. Um, oh, it's at fifty now. Okay, he's fifty now. Yeah. Yep. So that's six levels different. I can compare them because they're right next to each other. That's true. Right? That's true. So, so very comparable attack stats, actually. Mm-hmm. Muck's defense is also about the same. Literally the same. Special D is less on this guy, which is... So really it comes down to speed and a little bit HP. Because if you figure, if you adjust for levels, his HP is going to go up. All of his other stuff is going to yeah. be better. So it's really just speed. So... Having this dude knowing he's never going to go first, but he can probably tank a hit. Oh, fuck, dude. I don't know. I'm tired. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to keep Doug Trio for now and then think about it. All right. That is a, that's a valid answer. They're both valid that, answers. That doesn't, break, that doesn't break any rules. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fucking fight the hamburger here. You say this guy's just like, la, 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 la. Hasn't noticed you there yet. Did you see that super tiny rat at top yeah. when it was, like, stuck? When it was still, like, phasing yeah. in. For a second there, I thought that was just, it was done phasing <laughs> in. I was like, that seems wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, I'm Arnie. <laughs> oh, yeah. he's got, oh, okay. I thought he had a bindle, not, like, a bag with, like, a rope. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. I get and Bindle like and Bindi it. confused. They're slightly different. What is a Bindi? I know that's an Australian thing, but... Uh, no. I think Bindi is the Indian thing in the middle of your head. You know what it is? Because is, isn't Bindi the name of Steve Irwin's daughter? Also probably, yeah. Now maybe you should look or it up. Now yeah. I feel like I'm also offending everyone. Let's see. This is 90... This might be good. Let's try it. Let's look up. Splish splash. So... Let's see. There we go. Let's go, man. Uh, well, that was fun. People with the name Bindi. So, yeah, Bindi Irwin is Steve Irwin's daughter. Yeah. Well, let's see about... Bindi decoration, yeah, it's the, it's the, it is that. The head dot. Yep. Cool. Neat. So we were all right. We were both correct. Rick is all right, and I am all right. We just are a little weird. The D-pad. The D-pad. Three ultra balls. I don't remember don't that Don't give ultra ladder. balls away. Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. Maybe if you could fall down those holes. It'd be good if I could jump down those holes, just like, and this. <laughs> they add Smash Brothers Brawl tripping to it, and you just fall directly into the hole. When we were deciding what to play today, Ben was like, well, we're closer to ending Pokemon, so let's just play that. It's true. <laughs> yeah, which is Because all, we, all we've got here is, so from this point, you have to go, you have to finish here and go fight Blaine. Then yeah. we both go deal with Giovanni. Then we both do Victory Road Elite Four in our final face-off. Yeah. Victory Road's going to take a while, just because that's how Victory Road works. But, oh, yeah. But, like, we're probably within... If we if we did do five episodes a week, we're probably a month away from the end of this. Oh, yeah. I think we could get there. Um, 
Maybe more than that, just because the Elite Four battles are going to take some time, but like... So maybe well, more honestly, like five or six weeks, but... Once I'm done trying to catch up to you one yeah. way or the other, I'm going to move a lot faster. Oh, sure. You know? I'm just like clinging to my very desperate last little hope that I, just, I might maybe have a shot at beating you. I just mean like Victory Road's probably going to be like four, maybe five episodes. And then the Elite Four is probably going to be an episode per fight. Yeah. Even That's, if they're short ones, I feel like it's, it's better to separate them to anyway. Yeah. Uh, do you love me? Unless they're like five minutes long, in which case maybe then we'll do maybe like marathon style. Up, yeah. But yeah. They might be, man. They could be. I don't know. I'm going to see how it goes. It'll be interesting. It'll be oh, interesting. wait. I did not mean to stay in. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, this might not be good. Yeah, it's. I'm sure you would probably be fine and through the power of love, and it would only do half my HP. But like, I don't want to get unlucky. That would be right that would be now. perhaps the worst kind of yeah. situation to. Because he's a coach trainer too, so he's probably yeah roided out. Um, yes. Doug Tree used thunder. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I would just be like, take me now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Yeah, an earthquake stab. Earthquake could have been a problem there. It wouldn't have been. I don't think it would have killed me, but man, it would have sucked. I mean, stab plus super effective would give it three plus times the, trainer, uh, the yeah. damage there. Oh, oh, hey, this is bad too. Okay, but as Not we've stab, discussed, Doug Trio kind of sucks. Yeah, so maybe. There we go. All right. Okay. Not so bad. I wasn't expecting rock slide there. Here's a new tip I learned. Are, are yeah. you ready? Don't hit A so fast so you can see the Pokemon yeah. oh. coming out. Interesting. I finally learned after many years. Hey, Polyrath, there he is. Just catch this one. Yeah, I wish. I'd love a Polyrath. Um, go, Lightning Boy. All right. I wish Polyrath. he had like Used a... Used Earthquake. Yeah. Uh, again, if your Polyrath has Earthquake, I, I kneel to you. <laughs> All right, let's Grr, see. Grr, I'm a circle and I'm mad about yeah, it. Yeah, I... <laughs> Such a weird, weird yeah. goddamn design for Polyrath. They were like, we can't really draw frogs, so we kind of gave up halfway. Wow, he's he's robusto, this one. Submission. What is that going to do? All right, that was okay. decent, actually. All right. That's not one oh, of those did things. Did he just kill himself? Oh, no, he no, didn't. No, he didn't. Rapid actually did that a minute ago, though. Um, this hopefully isn't one of those things that like keeps going after he's dead. But I mean, shouldn't it shouldn't. It's the last Pokemon anyway, so... Or a submission. I meant like if you think of it like a submission hold, like maybe I couldn't do my move. Gotcha. Is what I was gotcha. Getting at. Yeah, that would be less good. Um. All right. But nothing matters. I won. Nice. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm sweating from my cheek. It's weird. I can only sweat from my cheek. No kidding. Yes. There it is. Nice. Oh. All right. Yeah. Now go. let's see if anyone can fucking use yeah, it. Nobody. I mean, Guaranteed. we obviously know Doug Drea will. I think Charizard will. Can Muck? <laughs> Muck might be able to. Uh, let's see. Where do you be down at the bottom? Gyarados might even have a shot at it too. Oh no! So it's the all right. So it's the these two homies, which makes sense. Mm, now, if Muck could learn it, does that change my opinion on Muck? Not really. All right. Muck's just so slow. Muck is very slow. Muck is always going to go second. So the at this thing point. is, Muck has to be able to take two hits to be useful, basically. Yes. Whereas yeah. Dverger doesn't have to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. he has to be able to survive a hit. Or she has yeah. to be able to survive a hit. Power to be able to, 75. Accuracy 90. That blows, but here we are. Boop, 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 boop. Now, actually, they're close enough to not super matter. What are? Um, attack and special attack. Gotcha. Okay. It's interesting. I feel like I... Oh, I don't know, because I, I, I guess I usually expect Charizard to have really good physical attack, but... I always do, too, but we, yeah, we've had this talk a couple yeah. times, because it's always surprising. Better special, and it's boosted, or too. Or maybe so. because red means bad, yeah, so... No, red means good, red so means you're good. right. Yep. Now, anyone on your team... I don't think anyone on your team is even weak to flying to begin with. Uh, I'll take a look. What even is weak to flying? Bug? Uh, bug, fighting, grass. Yeah, you don't have any of those, do you? Uh, let me double check. 
Yeah, none of my dudes are none of my dudes are weak to flying. Okay, well that there you go. Oh no, the secret new bug elite four member. Yeah. Again, I'm a little less worried about them. Yeah. Than I am about you. Again, I honestly do not think I have any chance at all. But I at least want to die with some dignity. Well, you definitely have a chance. Like most of our battles have been fairly close. So I guess I don't need dig anymore, and I have the. TM. Mm -hmm. Dig is useful for like in-game battles, but for face-off yep. ones, it's so useless because right. like I mean, the, you have to be in a, such a specific place for it to right. be a useful thing to There's use. There's a couple of ways it can be strategically interesting. Yeah, like someone's got but toxic and use dig exactly. Just get out of the way That's kind of what I was thinking, but like know. it's a lot. It's a it's a long shot to get to that point. Yeah. And, like, all it does is slow you down one extra turn here and there, and no, if true. you can switch. Like, it doesn't matter anyway. And, exactly. You know, so. Um, all right. And now I'm going to quickly see if Muck can even learn that. Sorry to keep switching everything around, but I want to yep. know. I want to be armed with the proper information. Add to party. Here we go. All right. I wish these menus, like. Was, were one menu? Yeah. I just wish things were good. You know? <laughs> just wish life was all right. <laughs> hey, yeah, he can actually. learn it. Interesting. Mm. I'm tempted. Oh Sludge. no! Disable the best move in Pokemon. Right, but what if I get really desperate and I'm trying to disable your Eevee? <laughs> oh no! I'll have to use one of my other three entirely amazingly broken moves. Broken moves. Yeah, you know. At least you know. Oh yeah, it makes me feel better that you know. Not so, like Pikachu doesn't also have broken moves, and the fact that Pikachu <sighs> will always go first. Uh, right. between the two of them is a bummer, but... But his broken move is a lot less broken than yours. It's... Yeah. Zippy Zap is not that good. It only is like 70 or 80 damage because it's less... Th it's really small attack, but it's critical. But it's it's crit. It's always crit and always priority, yes, which is a nice which is combination. Very good, yes. So, so it's good for lots of damage. Eevee's, Eevee's more of a um, status, status dealer. So I need a physical poison move for this There aren't be many of those. Uh... There's not, especially in this gen. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm not sure if there are any in this gen. Um, sludge bomb, I guess. I guess if it's in here, yeah. Uh, do I? I don't have anything like that. I don't think. Is poison jab poison, or is that bug? No, I think no, it's poison. poison jab's poison, but I don't think I have a TM for it. Yeah. I guess I could go check the department store before I give up on life. All right, I'm gonna. Ugh, I'm so <laughs> torn. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm torn. I mean, all out of bed. there's doctors that can help this with those things. How I feel. Because if I put six levels into him, I'm kneecapping my overall level a little bit. And I'm definitely kneecapping Dugtrio's levels. I mean, the levels aren't as important as the stats, though. Right? Like, at the end of the day. Oh, that's pretty good on the defense, too, yeah. Like, at the end of the day, the the level is just a number. That doesn't really matter. Really try. No, the... I know, I know, but... Ah. <laughs> Fuck rats! One angry rat! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, why don't you keep running from the rats, and we'll come back next time and see if you say rats. Okay, bye.